Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to continue a series that I'm really enjoying. So I'm doing the best of every single classic item that I feel that I really get a lot of use out of and that is the ultimate investment in my closet. I then split it up into five more different types of those items or subcategories. So I'm going to be doing that today for flat shoes. Without doing a super long intro, I should say that I am the toughest critic when it comes to flats and even though I'm including quite a lot of shoes in this video, Overall, it's a small fraction of my shoe collection and each one of these is super special because I actually get a ton of wear out of them and I'm loving them even though they're not heels. And I am such a heels girl. I have been for years and the fact that I love all of these flats means that I still feel like my outfit looks very streamlined, put together, and I feel um, powerful and ready for the day wearing them. And so I really think they're worth mentioning for that reason. And if you've ever struggled to find flats that are comfortable but still polished looking and work for work, then you may like this video. So let's get right into it and I'm going to start with my first category which is one of the most classic and well-known ones, which is ballet flats. So if you're looking for something that's very feminine, will look nice with a dress, will still look very polished with workwear, then ballet flats are an excellent pick. And my second category of shoes will be my other pick that is also great for work. So ballet flats are great. I've had so many pairs throughout the years. I don't think that these need to be expensive or name brand for them to work for you. I have a pair of ones that I picked up from a local boutique in Hong Kong, which I've had for years, and I really like the peach color. So a nice nude pair of ballet flats like these are great. I've gotten a lot of wear out of these. There's something about having the little bow and the ribbon that surrounds the foot. It immediately makes the shoe feel really feminine and pretty and romantic and for that reason I think it's one of my favorite all-time flat shoe categories. However, despite having owned many incarnations of ballet flats over the years, including those from Hong Kong, um, I never really loved a pair in particular until I got my Chanel's. So of course these may not be for everyone, but for me it's been really wonderful to have a pair of high-end flats because every single other pair of more upscale shoes that I owned had previously pretty much been heels and so having these Chanel's really has encouraged me to consider wearing flats even for more dressy occasions, even for work, even for um, drinks out with my friends and I think it's really added a really nice sort of flirty feminine young vibe to a lot of my outfits. One thing I've done since that haul is I decided that I really would wear them enough to get them resold at the front or not resold but get a plastic stole applied on the front as well as the heel to protect them and it really does make a big difference not only in terms of how long these will last but also in terms of how comfortable they are because it puts a little layer of cushioning between your foot and the sidewalk of course and then secondly I think another category of shoes that are really great to add to your workwear wardrobe um, for flats are loafers and these I think are really only just starting to experience their moment in fashion they're a little bit androgynous I love Love the way they look with a cigarette or skinny trouser. I think they just look so classy and polished, unexpected, and very comfortable so you can be at ease in your work environment. My most worn pair by far has been these Todd's cranberry and metal ones which have the classic detailing on the undersole. They're essentially driving shoes as they used to be called and even though these go much higher up on the foot than ballerinas, I still think these look extremely put together and even though my favorite way to wear them is with trousers and like a nice cashmere sweater or blouse, I kind of also am starting to love how they look with dresses and skirts. It's a little bit more of a juxtaposition, but I'm really loving it. And I've added another pair to my collection because I love the Todd so much and wanted to start playing with more of a smoking slipper style that is also, you know, part of the loafer family as I consider it. And these are actually meant to be worn 
with the back down but I'm not going to do that because it's not my vibe so I'm just going to leave the backs up when I wear them. They're extremely extremely soft buttery su suede and they're called the NNS style because in almost every language except English pineapples or some variation of the NNS um, word or in French anana. Um, so I love the playfulness of Wakwadzora. Very, very expensive, but I've heard great things about their shoes and the quality of them. Another way of adding flats into your wardrobe is to look for statement flats. And these are plentiful on the market. So these two examples are really just my own favorites, but every brand has their own twist on flats that really kind of makes them special and makes them a statement part of an outfit that will catch the eye and really allow you to do a very simple outfit with the flats being the standout item. One pair that I've gotten and worn the hell out of is these Chloe little classic flats. And I love this line because it's so buttery and smooth. And I wasn't sure how comfortable they really would be because they are very flat, as you can see, unlike the others that I've mentioned, which have a little bit more of a lift. These are very, very flat, but they end up just feeling like slippers because the leather is so, so soft. I love the rose gold of these, and it's just a really classic style that is immediately recognizable and very well known. These have been a great item that I would recommend, especially for summer, if you're looking for a closed toed shoe that will still look really pretty with summer dresses and outfits, but also try transition into fall. Um, the Chloe ones have been great and I think statement shoes like these look especially good with dresses. Another pair that I've purchased but haven't quite worn quite as much yet because I'm kind of saving them for fall is the Charlotte Olympia Classic Kitties in the velvet with the gold threading. I love these. I love that they have a little bit of a heel. Again, if you're looking for something to transition from wearing heels regularly, something with a little bit of a lift like this can still help to give you that slight more elongated leg, but still be very comfortable and easy to wear all day. Um, so I really love these. I think Charlotte Olympia has done a great job of doing playful designs that I still regularly rarely see people wearing in professional offices. I've seen people wearing these in law firms. They are very playful, but now they're so well known that I feel like the little kitty face is almost like a classic style. So you'll have seen that the first three categories are a little bit more on the dressy side for the reason that I don't always change my shoes when I get to work, even though I do walk to work for over 20 minutes. I just look for comfortable shoes that I don't have to change out of. That tends to be my motto. But if I am going to change out of shoes and or also wear them at the weekend a lot, some of my favorites are slide styles. So these are really comfortable casual shoes that you don't need to wear socks with, which is a huge plus in my book. Um, so one pair that I really have loved way more than I thought um, are Saludos. And so these are the Saludos slides and these were a limited edition with the half avocado um, from Saludos and I really like how the denim style goes with everything. Even though these are a little bit more on the chunkier side, they still look really nice and sleek surprisingly. And of course what really keeps me going back to these and why they're so dirty and well loved for walks along the seawall, these are probably my favorite um, shoes to wear, is how incredible incredibly cushiony they are on the inside. So I was really surprised by the quality and comfort of Saludos. So if you're looking for a pair of really comfortable, affordable, cushy, kind of more sportswear inspired shoes, I really recommend those. They really are awesome. Another pair that I've loved for years and I've gone through so many incarnations of these are Little Sperry boat shoes. Because I live by the water, that whole like little sailor vibe with boat shoes is a style that I absolutely love. And there's something classy and slightly, you know, sort of J. Crew catalog inspired that I like about Sperry's. They're really excellently made. And once you break them in, the leather is like butter. It will never give you blisters. When you first get them, it's a little bit more stiff. And then once you break it in, you can see how incredibly flexible these shoes are. Finally, given that this video is being filmed in the summer, I cannot exclude some really nice T-strap sandals. For me, these are actually remarkably hard to find good ones of because I'm very, very prone to blisters on my feet, especially even between my toes. Um, so these two are ones that don't give me blisters and still have a really pretty 
feminine look to them without looking too chunky or too casual. I really love these Aldo ones. They are knockoffs of much more expensive shoes. You can see they're rose gold with rhinestones all along the front and they're baguettes. So they create so much shine. And I think these would be gorgeous for a summer wedding or something like that. They're just as dressy as a heel would be because of all that shine you get. Or for a more classic, you know, easily everyday wearable pair of shoes to walk to work during the summer. I really love these cool Hans, and the reason is that they have an incredible amount of cushiness underneath the toes. So even though they're flat, you feel like you're walking on air, and the nude color means that they go with everything. The leather is very soft and doesn't cause any blisters on my feet. So cool Han for a pair of just like really classic flats, whether they're more of a ballet flat style or more of a sandal style is a really great place to look for a pair of shoes that even though they're flat will still be very cushy and comfortable which is super important when you're looking at flats because ultimately you do want them to support your feet so that it's not like you're walking barefoot on the sidewalk but rather wearing something that will give your feet a bit of the break that they deserve. So I hope that you found this video all about flats helpful. If you'd like to see the continuation of this series, then make sure that you like and subscribe so I know you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next installment. Bye!